we have we have no concern taking the, the trailer anywhere. You know, obviously we're not going rock crawling, but backcountry roads, forest service roads, uh, even you know unmaintained roads that we'll find you know up in Alaska, up on the Dempster, up on the uh, Simpson and Denali uh, highways. You know, we're, we have no qualms about pulling the trailer across there. Get to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and remember, get busy living. Three, two, one, click. Three, two, one, click. So we're at the Alberta Overland Adventure Expo uh, here in Edson, Alberta. Yeah. I want to thank Nick and Jeanette, Dieter and Antoinette for bringing me out here and, and suggesting that, you know, inviting me to join them out here. And, and I'm really glad that Johanna and I made the trip uh, from BC over. So, um, and thank you guys for being a great you're, host. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's been welcome a real treat. Welcome to the first Ember Gathering in Alberta. I think so. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah. And, and you guys really made it. It's nice to go be friends out of this. So I appreciate it. It's been really fun meeting you guys. Um, I think there's going to be more to come with all of us. Uh, I think so too. So uh, I'll start. We're bad, right? We're bad. Oh, yeah. It's all good. So, um, and I want to thank Johanna who's filming here behind the camera. So thank you, Johanna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let me guys uh, introduce yourselves. Let's hear your names and, and tell me a little something about yourself. All right. Well, I'm uh, Jeanette Ward from Thunder Lake, Alberta. We're from Thunder Lake, Alberta. Uh, I'm a yoga teacher and a Rosen Method bodywork practitioner. So I've been self employed for 20 years plus now. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been camping since I was. In diapers essentially so it's really in my DNA um, yeah and I'll pass it over to Nick. Nick. Hey I'm uh, Nick Ward um, from Thunder Lake as well we live together occasionally <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we've been we've been married 30 years and we've been camping all of those years together I did a little bit uh, of camping with the Boy Scouts back in the UK before I came to Canada uh, currently I'm employed by an international industrial gas company, and I work in project management in the IT sector. Cool. Thank Congratulations you. on 30 years. Oh, 32, yeah. actually, on 30. Wednesday. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, we met down in Australia. Oh, yeah? We're next from, from uh, the, UK. the UK, and I was originally from Vancouver Island, and oh, we were wow. just both traveling. And here we are still traveling. Nice. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad you came to Canada. As, oh, as are we. Glad <laughs> we came to Canada. Yeah. Yes. Um, of all of them. Yeah. And uh, let's tell us about your, your rig here. What what model and year is it? Uh, we have a Ember 201 FPQ uh, 2023. It's the early model 2023. So we have slightly different components to the more recent uh, models in as much as our inverters and elect electrical systems are GoPro, Mastervolt and uh, that's it yeah instead of Victron. And we also have the Euro windows which yep. were not available during the pandemic. Yeah we have the flat ones as well. Right. So, yeah. so yeah. So that, they're pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Okay and, um, and so how long have you had it now? We got it uh, in actually March the uh, 2023. We we purchased it at the Edmonton RV show in February and uh, finalized the deal on March 3rd. You got it's in March, so so what made you want to buy it? What, what stood out to you? What, what, what got you? Well, we were at this expo last September, same weekend, and we had never seen embers, and we actually had people across from us just over there with an ember. And so we went and just chatted with them and then discovered that woodies embers they had a whole slew of them here and we actually looked at the unit that Antoinette and Dieter bought and were quite keen on them had lots of questions Nick started researching them afterwards and we heat and hot and hot and heat and then uh, when we went to the RV show in February in Edmonton this past uh, February 
we uh, yeah we made the big decision. Yeah. yeah so one of the important th you know things to remember is I did a lot of uh, studying and review of the Facebook groups to find out the current challenges with the units that people were having. So obviously it's a brand new manufacturer, and so I was following along actively involved in asking comp questions and even uh, having some recommendations for people as they were uh, asking questions in the Facebook groups. So, you know, it's the Ember activity or the Ember Facebook groups are very active and there's a lot of information available in those. Yeah, I'd say almost everything I've learned about Ember, I've learned through the Facebook groups. Yeah. Uh, you taking over the Canadian one That's as well. Uh, it's appreciated to get the voices out there. And I know Ember appreciates our help too, too, because we are providing some real-time, real-life guidance on, like, you know, yeah. how, how it really works. You know, they, they are sometimes probably hampered by, you know, they can only explain things so much and, 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 and outline things so much, whereas we're unbound by such rules and can simply <laughs> say, no, nah, no, nah, nah, that's not right, uh, or that do it this way. So that's great, and uh, there's more of us out there that are really, yeah. uh, you're a great member, and we've got a bunch of people out there, George K and all these other people, just, <laughs> just Feed and JT and all these people, these names I've never met, uh, that, that just feed the Facebook uh, group with great, uh, sometimes even redundantly great, like we'll all, it's like, yes, exactly. <laughs> that's that's what I was going to type. Perfect. You know, let people know it's really the right answer. Yeah. So that, it's yeah. been great. Uh, it's a new product, right? There's no, you know, some of these folks can look back on 10 years of the user groups yeah. to get through stuff. This is all new to everybody, including Ember. Yeah. yeah. Right? So. Um, and, and I want to say I was yeah. quite taken with the fact that the owner is female. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, it shows. I was like, woo -hoo, Yeah, Ash yeah Ashley. Yeah. You guys got to meet Ashley we when you did, did your purchase, right? That's yeah. great. Yeah. Oh, In Edmonton, we... Really yeah. impressed. Yeah, both yeah. Ashley and, and Chris. Chris. Yeah. Uh, we had long conversations with them. In fact, we're on the Woody stand for an almost four hours. Yes. Uh, talking, to make a decision. Making a decision, talking backwards and forwards, getting their input. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we did look at the uh, 20 FP, which is a touring model. Uh, but we, we, we settled on the 201 because we want to do a lot more, more rugged roads. We have yeah. plans to travel you know, all the way up to Tukti Yuktuk and uh, Prudhoe Bay, go around Alaska and then as far south as we can go, Baja Peninsula and through the US, do a lot of traveling through there. So. Cool. Yeah. So, all right. So the suspension was a oh. real... Yeah, isn't it great? Yeah, I mean, it's real. It, uh, so. Yeah, I, I've <laughs> bent I've bent a couple of axles yeah. before this, and I didn't want to do it again. Right. Yeah. So that suspension alleviated that, and I've accidentally put it more to the test than I expected, and I caught air, and <laughs> it's been fine. I don't recommend that, uh, but it, it did work, and I'm glad I got it on camera. <laughs> so, okay, so uh, since you moved in, like, what have been the favorite things that you really liked about the Ember? Well, specifically about the model that we have and the configuration we have, we have the only 201 FPQ that we know about with the Murphy bed, as you can see behind us, is tucked up. And uh, this has given us the ability to, both of us, to work in the unit uh, on a, with our jobs. My, you know, Jeanette with her yoga and administration work that she has to do, and myself with the project management work. We both have working areas and it's very comfortable to do that. That's it. How about you? Uh, definitely, like I actually had to sell Nick on the Murphy bed concept because <laughs> he really was like veto about it. And I think since we've had the unit, he's like, oh yeah, this is actually pretty good. And um, I love the layout. The um, Always been keen on the back door entrance and having the sleeping area totally away. Yeah, from. that is nice. Yeah, I wake her up every time I step in and out, right? It's, yeah, it's, it's sweet. Little, that's a good one. Yeah. And, um, oh, can't forget the stargazer. Stargazer, like, that was a huge, like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I didn't like think I was going to like it here? so much. I, I didn't care when yeah. I got it. I was like, oh, that's cool. I remember Diana was even like, that's, I love it. I'm like, yeah. It's cool. Well, the light. It but it's the light. It's you know, hard to get light in your RV when you want it to be there. Yeah, you open that up in the morning. And also, having the air capacity flow through it makes it so it's not so stuffy. And that can be difficult to get sometimes the flow through that you're Yeah, you get the air. The hot air just flows right out, yeah. right? Yeah. 
Yeah, and to be able to look up at stars. Mm-hmm. So what about the desert? I mean, it was, you know, it's the Milky Way yeah. was there. You know, it was, you guys out here probably can experience yeah, that. Yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to going back down to the desert and doing some traveling and just being able to see, see the Milky Way again. Yeah, it was many, weird. Many years it, it, since it, I've seen it. That's the way I felt. It took me back to being a kid. Yeah. I was like, oh, everybody used to see this. No, no RV is perfect. Uh, there have been surprises or things that you wished were different about this RV? I wouldn't say different. We had a couple of surprises. The main one being we had a lot of dust getting into the vehicle mm-hmm. when we did uh, forest roads. But the second time, the first forest long forest road trip we did was fine. But I think we just shook the vehicle down a little more on the <laughs> second road. Yeah, and, it was 120 yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so we got a lot of dust in. So we, you know, we've worked with our, our dealer, Woody's RV, and we had that resolved. And now we're out on a test run now to see how well it was resolved. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah Woody's has served us well. We, there was a few, well, that's a little bit of water more than the the, the uh, yes. dust coming in from the, from the bottom. But yeah, Woody's has done a great job at sealing up when I go under there. It's, it's, yeah, I think it's important, especially these earlier models that, you know, that you, most of the dealers, well, the reputable ones like Woody's, uh, know now to, to get the ceiling done either before they release them yeah. or uh, if they, people come in, they know what to do. I think in the early days, even when I started, it was a bit of a, let's feel this out. Yeah. But now I've talked to owners that have purchased uh, locally from my Abbotsford one up recently where they had even said that, well, we've already, you know, we've already learned how this works. Yeah. And cl- so clearly some of us early adopters were their learning curve. But Woody's, you know, banks on that knowledge. They've been, you know, yeah. they really do seem to, and once they do it once, they know how it works and they can improve upon it. But I think we lucked out. And I know um, same with, uh, with Dieter and Antoinette. We all bought hip here in, in Western Canada where there was only one choice. It was yes. Woody's and we really lucked out because some of the horror stories I hear coming yeah. out of, I'm not going to name names, but I hear like out of the Jersey area, out of the Florida area. Some of those dealers are just, they're killing people, man. Yeah. They, they, I'm, and that's, you know, it's one of the things you notice in the Facebook groups is which dealer group is good or which dealer group is not so good. And some of that, as you say, some of the horror stories, it's like, I just shake my head and say, you know, I advise the guys like, just talk to Ember directly because Ember will take yeah. care of you. The Ember's customer service is second to none. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I joked when I was out there doing an intro earlier that, you know, we can sit around for two hours and complain about this and that and that. At the end, we're like, oh, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> we can all nitpick. And there is no perfect RV. I mean, I've, I've yeah. RV shopped for, what, 18 years now. Yeah. And I've never found the perfect RV. That isn't how it works. Yeah. Uh, there are all sets of compromises you find what works for you. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, and just, you know, a, a point for the viewers is, you know, we've had this unit now five months, six months. Yeah, we're in, in September, so six months. Six months. Wow. We've done 10,000 kilometers traveling. We've been on the road for nine weeks now in various stages. And, you know, we still love it. We still, yeah. you know, obviously we find things that have moved or shifted, but it's not massively. It's like, yeah, maybe the door bumpers have come off and you have to stick them back on with some Gorilla Glue and things like that, but it's nothing major. Yeah, if you look back at the video release that kind of summarized all the things I had done, uh, which I'll link to right here. Nope, I'll link to you right here. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, you live so many of them. I mean, there were some major things like the leak. How do you do it? But so many of them were just like tighten this down, microwave came loose, uh, the the door handles were a little loose. Things I probably could have fixed myself, but anyone who follows my channel knows I don't touch it while it's under warranty. Yeah. Unlike Nick here, who's adventurous, I, I have no <laughs> physical skills in this department uh and i'd rather pay the professionals to do it right mm-hmm. and so for now i'm still on the very stock uh setup um, yeah. and i let them fix everything but um that's going to lead us to the next question which is you guys have done i mean you've had less than me and you've done far more uh <laughs> and, and impressed can you explain uh what some of the changes that you guys have made to personalize this rig we've done a couple of things more maybe not more to, so much to personalize it uh, made it more convenient. Uh, one of the big areas, big things I did was to move the electronics uh, control units into the bedside uh, wardrobe just so I can control and see them without having to get out of bed or get out of the unit, uh, which wasn't a hard modification. I didn't cut any wires, I didn't have to extend any wires. There were all of the cables that were available for those units. 
I did make the, the panel here, which is just a piece of quarter inch ply and added in a master on off switch for the inverter, which is this switch here. Yeah, so that's, can, that's a great idea, bud. I can turn the inverter on and off from lying in bed. Yeah, the rest of us have to step outside. I saw Dieter in his, in his wake up shorts <laughs> heading outside just to turn him off and on. I do the same thing and yeah. uh, that's great. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You can see I added in a four inch, uh, added in a four inch uh, piece of plywood there, glued and glued onto the, to the frame just to give further support to the TV bracket. Uh-huh. And, and, and that whole, but that, that uh, closet, that, that's that's all you then, right? The, putting in the pole up there, so you can. Was that, no, that that's that, that is standard ember. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't never looked up there. There's so. a shelf that's folded up behind the clothes. Yeah, there. yeah I can see the the, the little uh, rails for it there. Yeah, can drop down. Yeah. yeah. Oh, great. So yeah, okay. that, we just tend to use it for soaps at the moment. Yeah. yeah. And then one of Jeanette's favorites is a IKEA bamboo cutting board that we just use over the sink for both. Uh, food prep and extra space and to be able to wash the vegetables yeah yes to be able to wash the vegetables and food yourself. yeah 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 just because for more um counter space mm -hmm. yeah. close to the tap mm -hmm. um works really well yeah no, that's yeah. a great idea for sure yeah and then the final one that uh you know is everybody's well, we've seen a lot of people have issues with the fridge popping open, mm -hmm. bouncing down the road because on the GE, the, the T-bar works, but it will work, work itself loose. So we just use a very simple bungee that we tuck into our cabinet here and slot in behind the T-bar and pull it shut. And that holds, holds the fridge closed. You guys, this is, the, people don't realize, this is the back of the rig. Yeah. So anytime you hit the brakes, there's the force of everything coming forward. Yeah. Uh, so I, I can imagine that would have lasted long. No. <laughs> yeah. And to be honest, we dumped, we dumped the contents of the fridge on our first trip. Yeah. Second night out, we dumped it, just because we hit some big pot. I still, about well, once a trip, forget to close it and <laughs> dump something. It's just yeah. sort of, uh, yeah. Yes. Another yeah. pro tip, if you like, it may be difficult to see, but we use containers to keep stuff in the cupboard. Mm -hmm. So everything is contained and doesn't bounce around and you can you can have a level of organization. That's just uh, one thing that we use yeah. in our overhead bins. Yeah, yeah. Um, we have IKEA trays. Ah, very similar to us, yeah. yeah. We, we got the ones that didn't have the drop side, but have the lids right. in the oh, same yeah. department, right? Yeah. Uh, and, uh, oh. Yep, yep, yeah. Ours we just used two, and then the rest is just the uh, you know we openly just stacked our stacked our, our dishes and, yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, we just have we have four across on all, just and we can pull those in and out. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. And it keeps keeps things from uh, flying about too much. So. Was there a cool experience you guys had on, on your travels that was kind of unique to the Ember you maybe wouldn't have had with the Ember, or really is unique because of the Ember? Well, I would say we've been on logging roads with our other trailer. However, we wouldn't have been comfortable to do the distances yeah. that we've done since we've owned this. Mm -hmm. the, we did 80K out on the West Coast from uh, Port Alberni to Banfield. Uh, and once you get out there, it's like, whoa, so, so worth it. Um, and just like the end, uh, a couple weeks ago, we entered our Southern Alberta tour uh, from Cypress Hills, which is Eastern Alberta, Southern, uh, 120K to Riding on Stone Provincial Park, which is a super cool, cool, cool <laughs> uh, park, a lot of history there. Nice. indigenous history so um so that's what i would say having the opportunity to go off-road totally often is it just takes you to the coolest yeah. place we have we have no concern taking the, the trailer anywhere you know obviously we're not going rock crawling but backcountry roads forest service roads mm -hmm. uh even you know unmaintained roads yeah. Mm -hmm. That we'll find, you know, up in Alaska, up on the Dempster, up on the uh, Simpson and Denali uh, highways. highways. You know, we we have no qualms about pulling the trailer across there. I think I'm up to about a 
30 kilometer limit so far in one dirt road, yeah. uh, okay. but we'll get it up there. Oh yeah, um, well, you just follow us. <laughs> <laughs> Really, I just want to thank you guys. I mean, I appreciate you taking this time. Appreciate you being open to being interviewed. Some people don't take no. well to it, so no. you guys, you guys do look great, and uh, you're gonna make it real easy to edit. So thank you. <laughs> um, I do encourage folks uh, if they are interested in the Ember or they have one, they should definitely get onto the unofficial Ember. What's the official name of the unofficial group? Well, there's there's unofficial. Uh, there's the Ember owners unofficial group. There's multi, There's actually about seven different. Facebook groups now for Embers. Yeah. So if you just search for Ember yeah. on in Facebook for the groups, you'll find multiple ones of them. Uh, in Canada, we have a closed group for Canadian owners only so that we can have our own discussion uh, <laughs> without interference in that. So if there's any Canadian owners out there, reach out. If you're not sure, reach out to myself and I'll get you access to that uh, Facebook group. Yeah, and if anyone's having difficulty finding it, you know, my email is always on every one of these videos, so reach out to me and I'll, I'll send you a link. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's been a real helpful resource, and I would not recommend you thinking about buying an Ember or any really RV without subscribing to some Facebook groups for those folks. I might have pushed you to different forums 10 years ago, yeah. but at this point, most of it's happening on Facebook. But yeah, so. it's, it's where you'll find all the information you need, and I really appreciate you keeping the, the channel going, and I'll look to try to help with administration in the future. Yeah, is there anything else you want to talk about? Well, we're here at the Alberta Outdoor Adventure Expo. This is the third year. Uh, the show is growing by leaps and bounds each year. Mm -hmm. And I, if you're in the area, if you're in Western Canada or Western Pacific Northwest, it is worth the effort to come up for the long weekend and spend time here. Yeah, I agree. It was it was it was surprisingly built out, surprisingly uh, intimate. Yet, you know. Uh, I know, I just, I've just i been to a few of these. This is the best one I've been to yet. I think this is the first one Joanna's been to, and she seems to have had a good time. Yeah. So, uh, well, the, the sessions they put on, the, the courses. Yeah. And the, uh, Classes, just, sometimes yeah. discussions. It's been really helpful and yeah. insightful. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, absolutely. You guys got certified on first date. Or... Stop the bleed, yes. All right, so yeah. we definitely need to bring you on the trip. Yeah. I can yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Pack a wound and put a tourniquet on. <laughs> yes. wow. yes. that, all right. Well, um, again, I appreciate you guys' time. Thank you so much. Uh, you. I went in the description and all that kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. So tell us about you. Awesome. Tell us about your YouTube channel. Okay, so I'm a yoga teacher. I uh, launched the YouTube channel right pretty much the week the pandemic shut everything down. Um, it's called Returning Home Yoga and More with Jeanette. Uh, tons of content on there and. It's more of a gentle 50 plus age group that I cater to. Oh, cool. However, if you're recovering from injuries or have back issues, that type of practice or those types of practices, super, super beneficial. Oh. Yeah, so. All right, we'll put a link in the description. Well, thanks again, guys. Thank and you have so a safe much. trip home. And, and you have a safe trip on your next northern journey over the next week or two. Yes, yes. yes. Stay safe. You betcha. Thank you. It's a wrap. It is a wrap. Thank you guys. Good. <laughs> I have got so much footage, I need another vacation. Yeah. <laughs> just to edit all the vacation footage.